Hello and welcome to Banal PG. I'm Sovereign and we're back in Return of Tomorrow today and I wanted to check out the Darkest Deeps. Some of you guys actually mentioned in the comments that this is a really good place to get precious gems and stuff. Now I tried to, earlier on just to see if I could use certain things in here. But the rope ladders didn't seem to want to stick. They just kind of floated and then broke. So we're going to go down using my tried and true method of not putting things where they should be there. And we're just going to drop down bit by bit because that's what I do. I climb down in the easiest way possible. Let's try and get up a little bit more because we're going to have to try and get back up afterwards. Are you going to go anywhere? Why is it? Why is the thing messing up quite a decent amount? Okay, because this is a long way down. I took 100,000 damage actually trying to get to... Uh, the bottom here when the, the la step ladder broke i'll probably do it at other times start to use the step ladders but for right now is there anything we can dig out down here no there isn't at the moment let's try and go a little bit down further i'll probably have to use a lot more to get down here later on but it's supposed to be quite dangerous down here as well but it's going to be a little bit of an adventure there's a lot of spider webs so i'm guessing there's going to be spideys down here or at least a big spider. But we're going to start mining out all of the precious ore. And when you get down these places, according to the guys in the comments, we get a lot of... How can I be in darkness when I'm carrying a bloody glow torch? Oh, song time. swings through that had literally nothing to do with mining to be perfectly fair i'm probably gonna put some uh skips in for mining out this stuff but we're gonna get a decent amount of precious stones in here and i'm just gonna be mining the precious stone because i've got a crap load of eyes granite so we're gonna actually i might do some skips in because there's only little bits of precious stone I actually fell down let's see if i can get this knocked out come on do more hits. I should really be using the masterwork pickaxe down here, but I, I like having my torch on. And I think it's going to end up being what I use for most of the time. Okay. See that little bit there? It's going to be a precious stone. And I want it. Come on, Gem. Break. Break. Are you... Come on. There we go. What do we get? Nothing. Okay. Let's go a little bit deeper inside. I want to see what we actually can get out of here. There's just... I'm going to get my sword out because I know something's going to... What was that? I know something's going to sound... It was literally my footsteps echoing. Is there going to be some giant ass spider down here? And you can't even see on the map. Because I'm going to get lost. I'm really going to get lost. Can I make... I need to... You surpass rooms and caverns. So maybe if I can get some metal scraps from somewhere, because I didn't take any with me. We can put some torches down to make sure we're going in the right direction. But I don't know if there's going to be any here. There's some bones down there. Ah, oh, we messed up a little bit there, I think, boys. So right. I'm always doing that. I think I actually got told in the comments that there's like, uh, they do love the content in the video. Why have I got despair? I'm not in darkness. I've got a bloody great big torch, man. Is my torch just not going to work down here? So we have to get through this quickly, I guess, because we're taking damage. There's some precious stones there, some more there. What's this? Deep mushrooms. We'll take some of those for some deep hash. Nothing wrong with a bit of hash. Let's get these precious gems out. We're taking a lot of damage. We're taking a lot of damage quickly. So I'm going to need to put a torch down. I actually am going to have to do it. We'll wait until we get lower on HP because I used the Lambus bread. Something that I'm having to do recently is actually grabbing a lot of um, the blessing. El Elrin's blessing or whatever they're called. Every time I do a sleep, I travel over and grab that because there isn't that many. 
Come on, we're losing HP. Can we get like uh Can I if I drink beer, like real life? If I drink beer, can I get rid of my despair? No, I can't. That would have been nice. We need to climb out of here. Because it is going to kill us eventually. Just wanted to grab as much of this as I can. I don't know how to get rid of the despair. Because, like, I've got, a, I've got literally a masterwork torch. So I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's just the debuff for this entire area. Which is why it's kind of dangerous. Um, but there should be some way to counteract it. We're taking a lot of damage. I need to get rid of this. Come on, give me your gems. Give me all these precious gems. Loads of amethysts. I wanted some rubies because I wanted to try out the fire one. Right, let's get the hell out of here real quick. Remember which way to go. Mm, beasts of the depths. What do you mean, beasts of the depths? I have, I have enough trouble with this bloody darkness, to be honest. Am I going the right way? I am. I need to make my way up really quickly. We're getting low on HP. I'm going to eat this Lambus bread and then we're going to stick our honey cakes on there. Okay, I'm on. Is that going to be high enough? Yes, it is. Is, is that going to be too high? No, oh my God. I actually all tabbed. By accident. Come on. We haven't got that many honey cakes. We need to get out of this depths of despair. Uh, let's go up this way a little bit like this. Are you kidding me? Literally, you can do it all the other times. All the other times. This is why we should use rope ladders, but I just can't. They just always fall for me. I don't know what the issue is with them. Even if I have them sticking in the wall, if I have them sticking off one of these things, we'll try and mess about with it afterwards. There is some uh, stuff there. C Are you kidding me? Why? Oh, stick out a little bit more. Come on. Stick out a little bit more. We're, we're going to die in the darkest depths already. This was a bad decision on all fronts. Can you stop sticking in the wall so much? Please? It would be really appreciated. You know. Okay. Let's try and stop doing this at a fast pace. I just don't want to die yet. Climb up. I actually, I'm doing body movements, like in, in real life, when it comes to when I'm about to fall and die. I think we're getting a little bit closer, but we still have this despair thing. But I'm not sure why we should take damage from despair. I don't take damage in real life from despair. Let's jump straight across. Jump up a little bit more. We're out of it now, at least. But with this, we can actually... Oh, God. Let's try and get you to go there. And across there. So we can jump up and down real quick. I'm going to try and have to figure out if there's a way for we can get rid of despair. Maybe if we just put the torches down. Are you kidding me? No. No. We're stuck. And this is the issue. Uh, we're going to have to... <laughs> try and break. Because we just need... Oh, there it is there. There's a bit of wood there. We're good. Wood scraps for the last piece. I was about to be really upset then. That was going to be a not fun time for me. Is that going to be enough? Are we going to be able to climb up from here? Are we going to be able to get up there, sir? Yeah, we are. Okay, we're out. We're out of the darkest deeps. We've got some precious stuff. I will venture into there further once I figure out about the despair. Uh, let me know down in the comments if there's something that I can use to uh, counteract the desperation of being in darkness, even though I'm using a torch. Do we just put pylons up like I was doing a minute ago? Why did the purple just disappear there and then appear? That was weird. So let me know down below if there's a way to counteract that. If it's just using the wall torches, if it's using standard torches, let me know and we can sort of grab that out. I want to go and get this. We need to go over here and get this. I need to do it. I need to make my crossbow again and get some crossbow bolts. Uh, so we'll do that real quick when we go back to the base. So I can actually go and kill this guy here. There's a troll here that I need to kill. Quiet. He needs to die quickly. You always see prey everywhere, good sir. We don't need it right now because we have loads of leather. I did some bit of farming in between. I went around... You know how we were skipping some of the areas, uh, like some of the mining stuff to get... We missed the salt and the silver and stuff because we have a load of it. I did that in between 
I went and grabbed all the area that we searched. I cleared out all of the uh, different ore nodes that were still around, all the iron ore, the salt, and all that sort of stuff, just in case we need it. I didn't want to really do that on episode, so what I've just kind of been doing as I'm going around is putting markers on the map for myself. Put a marker on the map when I see that there's something I can mine out, and then I'll go back to it after in between the episode. I think it just saves a little bit of time. Uh, unless it's something that we really need right then, like something new. We're about to get hit by a falling rock. Unless it's something we need, uh, like if we're going to be making the... Because I want to make the Shinos, Shinos, the new ingots to make the next Belagos set of armor using the silver and the iron. Uh, we're going to be doing that. So I'm going to go to the low. I'm just going to go back to the base, drop all the stuff off, have stuff ready for us to build. Uh, so teleport and stuff, because we're going to be going through, we're going to be grabbing. Um, just go straight for the Great Forge. In this episode, I just wanted to see what I'd get. I got three rubies, so we can get fire on something. Do I want to put fire on my two-handed sword? I kind of do. Let's make a first age great sword. Craft. Lovely jubbly. Oh, no, it needed rubies. Son of a bitch. Can I break down the one I've got in my bag? Because you can't re-add. Like, I can't re-add. Son of a bitch. I've got two rubies. I need one ruby. Oh, <laughs> Right, let's stick these rubies inside. We'll try and find some at some point. We have the stone and stuff on us. There's some deep mushrooms we can make some hash with. I'll leave that in there for now. But at least we've got to craft if we want to do find another ruby. That did kind of suck though. What do we need for deep hash? Eggs. What does it do? Eat to restore health and food. I'm actually, I'm actually wondering. Is there a one that gets served together or store health and food? Health and food. Uh, health and food. It's just... There's nothing in here that kind of tells me that I can get rid of despair boost the restoration strength health over time energy cost do you have anything here that helps with despair it doesn't look like it to be honest uh we will make some we got some, we'll make we'll make some more honey cakes because I will do a little sleepy sleeps and we've got everything that we didn't hear we've got coal on that because we need the coal to make a hearth when we're putting down a map marker when we get there. Unless there is a map marker there, which would be quite nice. Here we go. Shinor ingots. Shinor ingots, silver tin, and something else. We do, I think we're actually pretty much really low on tin, to be honest. We have 47 tin. I haven't found any tin for a while. I'm going to cook up some breakfast. We'll do the roasted ramberries and have a rest. And we'll get ready to go and head off. Meal's ready. Let's go. Let's do a little bit of repair. Do I, I want to fill up my lager thing. Fill brew skin. There we go. We'll take those honey cakes. We'll eat one right now. Oh, it's the middle of the night dark though. Why are you not out? Get in my backpack. Uh, we need to go. We'll go to the, um, the great pumps. And then we'll walk from there and we'll head off in the direction we need to go because I want to get this great forge done so I can start on my build. It's been too many episodes and I've been waiting to get to this bloody place so I can do a build at the great forge, which is indeed in that direction. Uh, we will go through here and to the right. Did I bring wood with me? I didn't bring sticks with me because I'm not smart enough to do something like that. So we will break up some of these guys. And hopefully it'll give us some wood scraps along the way. I wish we could kind of make them out of the tier 2 wood. Because there's crap loads of tier 2 wood here. So I don't see why we wouldn't. Can we break these? There's some wood here. Is it going to be Umberson? Ah, we got some wood scraps. We will grab some along the way. Because uh, we need to... Oh, shit. That's a beehive. I don't want to break that. I want it to respawn. Let's just grab all the wood scraps we can while we're here because mistakes were made and I want to have less of a stressful time grab all this as well let's just grab it because we're going to need it anyway <laughs> excuse me coughing still in my old age we'll go around the edge here there is poison mushrooms hopefully I don't get too poisoned because there's a troll at the other end of this place Dawn is at hand. Okay, it is the morning now. This place is an absolute maze. We did go in any other time. I'm going to try and get through here real quick. 
Because I know there's a way we go round and out on the other side. I think it will be over this side. So if we go... It's not that way. Is it that way? I think the troll's this way. We'll try and get out again this way. Okay, come on. There should be a set of stairs that goes out. There we go. Because I didn't bring the crossbow with me. Like, this is what the guy was talking about. The fact that I don't get things ready and then I start we getting confused. Orcs. We got orcs. Okay, that's fine. We're good. We got a lovely two-handed sword here. Oh, God, there's a... Oh, God, there's a... There's a bloody troll and I've got no stamina. Crap, 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 crap. Why is there a... Why is there a troll in here? Why is there a troll in here? Why have I got no stamina? Why am I in despair? <laughs> there we go. Come on, die. Okay. Let's just try and kill these guys. Let's not stress out. We're going to get hit by rocks that are being thrown everywhere. Let's dodge out the way. There is purple. I am poisoned. I am shadow cursed. Everything's happening because that purple didn't spawn in. This is just a standard cave troll, so we should be able to kill him quite easily. Let's dodge. He is taking a lot of damage from this thing. Because before he wouldn't do, we are shadow cursed still though, so I do need to keep an eye on my food. Okay, it's give us a big hit. Let's quickly eat this. Dodge. We did kill him outright. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Since when did they start spawning with a troll? That was uh that was a bit naughty. That was really naughty actually. But he did manage to kill most of those trolls, so I didn't get absolutely arse blasted. But that was kind of stressful, I have to admit. That was quite stressful. What do we have over here? Salt. Always salt. I need to start clearing these purple things as well, but I don't have that many sunstones. What's through this little way? Let's have a look what's through this little way. Before we head off. I'm always ended up... I'm using the wrong one. But that was indeed quite a stressful situation. But we I got through it. Monsters in the air. There's no monsters in there. They're just moths, mate. Come on, let's kill these guys. There is some silver there. Is that a, what is that? Is that a statue? That is that a bigger moth than a usual size moth, or what? Let's use the steel hammer. I don't think we're gonna need it. Yeah, it's just gonna give us some iron ore. What do we have here? Silver ore. There's a lot of silver ore in here. Why are there all these extra ways to go? This actual area is too damn big. Right, what's gonna be this way? We're gonna try and get through it quickly. There's some iron ore. But we need tin. Tin is our like short point at the moment. We do need that quite extensively. What do we have through here? Is that silver? We got silver ore. If we find some tin, we will stop to grab it. Let's get through. Okay, come on. We haven't got much armor left, but I have got stuff on me to build. A teleport if we do need it at some point. That is a really weird sound. That is quite a weird sound. So, that way is somewhere. But it looks like we're supposed to go this way to at least get... Is that... That's resin. We do have a lot of resin right now. But I will actually, when these rocks stop falling on us, try and grab that at some point. I'm pretty sure that still hit us. Let's cut through, see what's through this way. It looks like there's nothing through here. Or there shouldn't be. Oh, poison mushrooms. So it's just a little bit of... What is in this one? Have you got any tin for us, sir? Have you got anything for us, is the question. Just... There we go. It's more silver ore. We do have more than enough silver ore to be able to get through this bit of area. Uh, what was that way? There's a big doorway through this way. So there's probably going to be something naughty on the other side of this. We will be ready for it, though. I need to get my uh, stamina back up. I am going to drink some lager before we go through this hole. To get our stamina back up. And we're going to get our HP up to full as well. We'll eat a honey cake. And we'll crack on through... What have you got for me on the other side of this? You got a big ass cave system. Oh god, there's even more places to go. 
Oh god, I didn't even see you, man. Thank you. Durin's beard. I never knew this. Oh, this. It, what the hell is this? What does this place do? Let's just kill this spider real quick. Stop poisoning me. No one likes a bastard. Come on. There's a lot of spiders in here. He only does one damage. We can just power through this, to be honest. Uh, if they don't stop coming, that's a lot of spiders, man. I kind of expected something like this in the darkest deeps, but nothing really. There's more spiders coming. Why are you all coming so much? Do I need to go break some eggs or something? There's an egg clutch here. Oh, that gave us a big bit of poison. I need to put a map marker down or something because we will need to go back to base after this. Can we eat? Yep, eat. I should really get my hammer out so they stop poisoning me, but these guys keep coming. Endless hordes. Is there any more? There are some goats over there. Why were they attacking me and not the goats is the question. Let's have a quick look in here. And see what we got. <laughs> I am going to build this thing here so we can quickly get... We'll put a stone earth down. And then I'm going to place the map stone. So we can go back and repair real quick. See, I'm getting ready. I'm starting to realize what I need to do. Uh, we will go back to the base and get that sorted. So I went and rested and I just seemed to forget that there would be these absolute horrible spider bastards and so many of them spawning in after I rest. I think because I didn't break the egg sack. So we need to go and do that. I need to kill more of these spiders. Because I think if we clear the egg sacks, it actually stops these guys from spawning. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try and do it without getting poisoned. Even though we're going to get poisoned still. There are more spiders over there, but they're not coming to attack at the moment. So we're just going to leave it at that. Real quick. And then we're going to head off and see this library. Uh, every time I think that we're through and we're going to go do another thing. Uh, I find something the new. Source of the Kibilnala. One of the reasons Durin built Kazadu. This really is worthy of a pilgrimage. It is worthy of a pilgrimage. It does look pretty damn cool. That is like, uh, I'm not sure what that even looks like. What's this going to do for us is the question. Was this place flooded before? Because it looks like it'd be, oh, hello. Library of Kibil Nala. Let's see what it does for us. Back to work. What the hell? I'm, uh, why? I think we unlocked it already, but I wanted to get a screenshot of it. I want to wait for it to all to light up again. I want to get a nice screenshot for it to try and do it as a little bit of a thumbnail
That was absolutely beautiful. Well, I'm daunted now. Till Doran wakes from sleep. I'm gonna take a big old screenshot of that. Try and get it in a nice corner over here so I can turn it into a thumbnail. There we go. That's absolutely amazing. That is beautiful. The song was beautiful. Can't even complain about that whatsoever. Is there anything else nice in here? We just got um the hammer. We can craft the Chanel hammer. Lost any. If any of my family can see the great craft I have discovered today. Lovely. Crafting a Chanel hammer. That should be... I don't know if that's going to be like a, a special Mastercraft one. I will check it out because we are going to go try and find this uh, place right now. I'm not sure where these guys are going to take us. I will pick this up now because we don't need it anymore. And we will carry on so we can do a light map spawn whenever we need to so if i need to repair and shit i just have it on me uh there's a statue to repair there we don't really need it what is that in the middle over there oh goblins hello i need to stop i need to start using the shield is that there's spiders coming after us or what oh yeah, there's spiders coming out. We'll kill those spiders first because I don't like getting attacked at range. There's more spiders and there's more goblins behind us. I haven't tried the big hit yet on this. Let's try and get a big hit off. Two. Let's try and... Can I... Come on, come on, try and get some hits off. Kill some, kill some of them. We've got too many surrounding us. There's so many spiders. Spiders need to kill everything else because they're trying to kill us. I'm getting a bit uh, overstimulated with the amount of stuff that's going on here. Let's try and kill these two spiders that are chasing us real quick. I don't want to keep being poisoned. I am going to try and do a big hit over here in this big pile. Lovely jubbly. Let's get rid of this dude. Let's get rid of this dude. We are still a little bit poisoned, but it's not so bad right now. Oof, that was naughty. That was really naughty. We haven't got much food anymore. Why is this anyway? Is this like a damaged, damaged monument? That doesn't seem like the same kind of statue we had before, no? These feel a little bit different. Ah, we're going to start si more singing the music in this game. And we're just going to have the poison in the background. Yeah, I'm singing, mate. Don't mess up my singing. Oh, come on. Stop coming through the hole holes in the wall. Like, why are you just appearing? Let's block. This one's done in. Just appearing through the holes in the walls and shit. Oh, because we got a raid coming. We got a horde coming. Or, no, it, it's about to be a horde coming. I can see that thing. We'll have to sing it again. It's the same song as we just did in the Durin's, uh, the library. So, hopefully we can just... Oh, it could poison mushroom. I just want to get through, get this bit. Because it's going to have Undaunted. Maybe we should go down to the Darkest Deeps when we have that Undaunted buff. It seems like it might be, uh... A thing we should do, but I don't know if we can sing to this every time and get the undaunted buff. Let me know down below with that one. Come on, we need to. I think it's gonna clear this purple out at least. Come okay, on. It sounds like um. I want to know where the female's voice is coming from because I don't see a damn female around here. A monument to Durin 2. Okay, here comes a horde. We're ready for it, ladies and gents. Are we ready for it? I hope so. I'm going to use my hammer and I did put the ice buff on the hammer. Okay. Yeah, that was a, that was a quick one jab. It did clear the purple out. The miasma. Okay, let's... Uh, this guy needs to be hit with something else because the hammer's not going to do enough damage to him. What about you? Or you? Oh, 
Let's try and just get a couple. Let's get rid of the little dudes real quick with a hammer. I don't want to get hit in all directions. Even though they don't have poisonous stuff, they are they can be quite annoying. So let's get our sword out now. And get the big guy gone. Little roll into a stab there. Glimly the Olympian. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed control instead of block. That was my bad. Do a little love tap. Where are you running to, sir? Get another little one here. He's about to do a swing. So he did it. That one managed to hit us. We have a lot coming after us. I was kind of wondering, worrying that there'd be a troll that comes along. But no troll so far. I think we just ended that one real quick. I don't even know if we got any black diamonds out of that. I really hope we did. We are still poisoned. Got some coins there. What's this over here? What do we get? Coin. More coins. Because when we do our big base build, I do want to have some treasure piles because I do want it to look the part. Let's grab up these Mahal's gift. And then we break this bad boy. We are still massively poisoned. Now we're bone cold. Orcish key. Orcish chest. What do we get? 26 coins. Some arrows. We got some more black crystals. Lovely jubbly. And free rubies so we can try the fire out. I'll put that on a two-handed sword. So we have an electrical one and a fire one. What else is down here? We got silver ore and a lot of it. There's some honey. Need that. But no, it's not honey. Sorry, that was my bad. So this area is now cleared out. There's a little bit we can go through here. Let's actually use the right thing and not take our axe out. Because I actually really like the two-handed sword, the way it goes. Because I play like I just throw around... Uh... What's this way? Doesn't it... it looks like we're just going back to the way we came. Compacted dirt. I need to hit some ore to get the ore frenzy buff. Right. Can we... Can we... Oh my god! Oh god! We're shadow cursed. We've got despair. I've got nothing to heal myself. God damn it. Let's go in. We'll build a hearth real quick. Small hearth. And then we'll build a map stone. Activate. Travel back to base. Because we're going to die here fairly certain. I, why can't I go across? I don't want to have to uh, <laughs> run across. Right. At least now if we die here, we can just teleport in. What do we get? What can we make now? Cleansing Abach. Reduce poison build up rate increases. Ooh, yeah, we'll grab some of those. We will craft a couple of those. Warding. Armor effectiveness attack power. Maybe these are the ones that give us increased armor and boost. No, we haven't got anything right now. Let's look in the recipe list. The Kuzdul Forge. Shanor Hammer. It is just a standard tool and it takes three Shanor ingots. Or is it? something that we're going to need to use not really sure but we do need to rest for damn sure i know that much let's just uh what time is it it's the dark so we need the morning but we haven't got anything to make the morning food we'll add two portions i'm gonna repair everything real quick and then we'll head back in and down i really wish there was more than one place to get the eldritch blessing we do need to start farming, but I wanted to do that all of that when we get to the base part. Oh, uh, we can make our two-handed sword now. Let's put as much stuff of this away as we can. Uh, wrong one. We'll pick up the electric sword and we'll drop the axe in there. And I'm going to craft me a fire sword. Because it's what I want in life. Let's try and deposit all of this stuff. Can we deposit in here? Uh, what do we need? We've got loads of eras. Just going to eat to get my HP up. It is first light and we're not tired. So I might just continue on. Do we have... We have more. We have uh, some in there. Let's just make this real quick. And we should probably... We should probably craft the crossbow. Because I did lose my crossbow. Where is the crossbow? Why can't I see a crossbow?
Do I have to craft a crossbow in my, uh... No, so where's the bloody crossbow? Do I have to make it in the big forge? Oh, because it's over here in the crossing's bench. I was just being a bit of a tit. Uh, first stage crossbow craft. Uh, first stage bolts. Let's craft somebody. We've got some silver ingots. We will craft a decent amount of these just in case we run into something big that requires this bolt because we did run into the uh, watcher in the water. Right, so we do have that. We have everything that we need right now. Let's see if the flame sword has flip. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And we'll just head off back to where we are, break down the map marker and continue on. Uh, lower deeps, continue. Dawn is at hand. At least it's daytime. So we can just crack on with it. Uh, let's break this down. Bye, 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 bye. It is really such a good idea that someone told... And now I get the tired debuff. Are you kidding me? Uh, we're going to have to climb up and around. Monsters in the air. What do you mean monsters in the air, man? Uh, I think we're going to have to go across this way. Mainly because... That stalactite is just sitting there. Stalactite? I'm guessing it's a stalactite. What do we need to fix this? Just true quartz. Hmm... I thought it was something a lot more than that, to be perfectly honest. It's kind of annoying that we now have that debuff, to be fair. The tired debuff, so we're going to have a lot less stamina. I just really want to get through to this place. Right, up here to the right. Let's go find this great forge. I want to build. Building is what I want to do. Let's see how much damage this does. If I can hit it. Okay, that was... Okay, we like that. Right, let's head through here to the right. Look, we only have two slots for that, but I can maybe... Oh, we're getting despair. I think I brought one Lambus bread with me. They can get rid of the tired. So we can just carry on. Let's try it. I think it does get rid of the tired, to be fair. Yeah, it does. There we go. I know it's a waste. I will farm a load of the Kuzdor Oats and stuff. I just wanted to get through and find this bloody great big forge. Like, it's a really big thing for me right now, and it's the most important that's going to come up. What do we have there? Resin, though? Resin. jump over there is a statue here but we don't need it i'm gonna build it anyway so we can have all of the statues maybe there's a nice little uh thing we can get later on come on let's go through there's a couple of flying gnats over here we will put the crossbow here can i uh yeah i can it takes a while oh that one's a bit low there we go. What do we have over there? Just some silver ore. I'm going to rebuild this statue as well. Maybe it gives us a, a little thing we can do. Uh, do we go around this way? I'm just going to get my sword out. Ooh, shiny. We've got some iron ore here, but we need tin. Tin is what we need if we're going to be making the Shan ore ingots. We need tin, a lot of it. And I think we're finally going to be here through this wall, guys. Finally going to see the Great Forge. I'll probably have to craft up the pieces to fix it. Oh, there's some... Uh... Right. It's covered by a big hole. Let's see what we've got. We've got a little bit of... This place is quite large we'll have a look over there quickly i just want to grab the history stone the dwarves greatest treasure when trading between mountains despite their own reputation of other free peoples was not metal or gems but knowledge and craft pilgrims often donated their learning as a tithe to the jurians folk nice i do love the lore that comes through in this game there's a lot of it uh we have a lot of wood and stuff in here we can use so this is actually, if if there's going to be a map point where I don't have to build one, but let's see, our base is going to be up here. <laughs> here we go. Follow the Pilgrim Road. We're finally here, and there's a bloody great big door in the way. Let's open it up. Drain an open gate. 
Oh, it's actually... Nice. Because we did indeed kill the Watcher in the water and get the uh, thing before we did this in the Great War the Great Works in the last episode. So we would have had to have run back. And, oh, look, there's already... I can see that we're going to be crafting some pieces. Look at that beautiful thing in there. Open up the gate. Open the gate! The Great Forge of Belagost. It's a big-ass open room. We can do a lot with this place. There it looks like we can actually go as well. And the next part is over there. There is actually pieces here we can use. There's a... Uh, this replacement oh, clank. Look at this ancient forge. Let's what light up some braziers. Fill up this room with some light. Water beauty, it is indeed. I wish there was another one there because now it's off center and off symmetrical. We do have one piece over there. We have the crank over this side that we need to stick up there, but we do need to make some stairs, it looks like. Oh no, we can just run up the side here, I believe. Get this guy inside. Let's light all these. We've got some coal on us. Decent amount. So we can light all these braziers up with coal. They're not going to last very long. They'll probably go out soon. But it, it looks a hell of a lot nicer, doesn't it? Let's replace the gear. I think there's only one tube we need to do. And the tube is right there. But we will probably... I know. We might be okay on this one. It doesn't look too destroyed. Let's put some in there. We'll put some in this one as well. And this one. Have all of this. All the coal. Do I have enough coal on me? I do. I was about to be upset. We need at least six. Oh, no. We will have to climb up. Make a staircase. So let the games begin. Let's go there. And kind of make a little... No. Okay. You're just going to break. That's good for you. I don't think I can climb uh, a thingy with this, to be honest. Can I climb up this way? I can. Let's try and build that on there. And see if we can get a little bit further back with this. Is it, I just want it to be above, just a bit. Just a tad. Can you go on there? Yeah, you can. Okay. Turn it around again. See if we can't get a little bit of green up. Are you going to not work? Let's see if we can get you to go there. And step up a little bit. Can we get up here now? We do have to make another one. A little bit of a step up. No. That wasn't touching anything. Solid. The angle's kind of a bit dodgy here. Let's go there or climb up a little bit. This is a really bad way of doing this. No, no, that's not right. This isn't the way you're supposed to do this, by the way. There are better ways of doing that. But I like to be a little bit extra. Let's break all this stuff down because we're going to need the wood anyway. There's a lot of wood we wasted there. But we have unlocked this place now. It's going to start heating up. Look at that with all, the, with all the light and stuff. It is really damn cool, to be honest. Oh, there's a chest over here. It's a light. We have it unlocked. And we're going to build our base in here. For damn sure. We do have... Some, what was that? It sounded like something boring. Whoa, okay. Dragon's breath. Are you a light now, sir? Can we use you now? Shannor Ingots and the Belagos Halberd. I love a Halberd. In the deep, they are coming. Okay, Horde's coming. Let's get our fire sword out. Uh, but first... Oh, crap. Oh, that was bad. Why can't I do anything? Because I pressed the wrong button. And I dodged a little bit too soon there. I forgot there would be a horde here, to be honest. Ah, this one's done in. Set him on fire. I mean, fire should do a decent amount of damage to a troll, to be honest. We will be able to kill him, like, pretty quickly with this two-handed sword, though. There we go. There's one down. Let's kill this dude. We killed your troll buddy, man, so you should be very unhappy. 
Can we do a dodge roll? Let's pick up all this nom noms. We got sapphires and black diamonds. And that is the haul done. I thought it was going to be a little bit harder, to be honest, but I was trying to place. We will probably place it a big one right about here. The tiled hearth, so we can have it a lot more. Now, we do have the resin and the Uberson wood to do it, and the Eros granite, but we will need to have some stuff placed around. So we will place this guy. Can I place it around here? We can. We'll place it here for the moment. Because that's not that big of a square, to be honest. Like, if you see, it's not that big of a square. So if we build the big one around about or try to build it along this side over here, it should cover up a decent size and a decent amount of this. But we're just going to put this here for the minute. And what was it we needed? I wanted to have a look because we were having a look at this. Roasted cranberries. <laughs> right. We needed Shinor ingots two. Over some wood, Shinor alloy into sweeping weapon when outnumbered in war. This is going to be what I need in my life. <coughs> Excuse me. Just choking to death. We haven't picked up the Belagos, like, helmet. We haven't picked up any helmets. But we do need a decent amount of Shenor ingots. But we will be able to craft those now in here. Which is going to be able to take copper ore, tin ore, and silver ore. So we will grab that and bring it over. And we'll grab some of the resources we need. Uh, we do have this now. We'll just go and grab it. And I'll grab what I need, and then we'll be right back. Right, so I thought i bought enough of a wood, but i don't we need to go up here real quick and just smash a load of these trees down so we can get a little bit more of some wood to get the tiled but then once we place that uh, i'll probably put a cut in the episode into the next episode because i want to do a full building episode and what i'll do is i'll get all of the stuff transferred over just using the map marker into chess on this side break everything down on that side so we have all of the stuff we need to build everything so i can at least have the small base of operations there we should have enough now to craft that's how we do i just wanted to see how big the area it covers and where we'd need to place it almost fell to my death more than likely but that is cool as hell. We're going to be setting up the base to have big halls on either side. And we're probably going to use these pillars and the stairs as part of the build itself. So we're going to have like uh, walls and doors going up over here. It's going to, I think it's going to be really cool. Uh, I do have some ideas of what I want to do. So make sure you do check that out. We will place this bad boy up here. We don't want to, do we want to put it in the middle of the crank? Can I place it there? I can indeed. So that actually looks like it's part of it, at least. So let's build and see how big this is now. It Does it cover the entire room? It almost covers the entire room. We almost have it, but that isn't going to go as much on either side. And I'm pretty sure we got this whole square centered, but we could put other little, uh, like, ones we have here, for example. You can deconstruct these and have the space. And say, for instance, you want to have a little corner over here covered you can just put another hearth over here and make it bigger so you can fill in the areas but they don't when you have a, a, a from what i've seen and what i've tested if you, this hearth only covers what so if this if you put a treasure chest here for example you put a treasure chest here it won't be covered by that tiled hearth over there as far as i can tell like, so it will just be covered by the square that that hearth is in. But this tiled one is going to take up a lot of the room, a lot of the area. We're going to build a farm in one of the corners so we can start planting our Eldereth's blessings and stuff like that. Because I really want to start seeing if I can do that. And we can get everything going. So I will get all the stuff moved over from the other base and get it all over here. And get ourselves set up and then we'll do the next build in the next video i really want to thank you all for watching i had a lot of fun in this episode i want to see you in the next one fly safe and avoid local chat scams i love the chase and the hunt and i set the pace when i'm running i always take what i want and i always give it 100 don't need a bank no i'm funded play the game like it's nothing i'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up